Beef. Spicy. Spicy. No, say it again. <laughs> roasted spices. Roasted spices. No, no. Roasted spiced chickpeas. Roasted spiced chickpeas. <laughs> Action. Right. Yeah. Here on the island, the local transport. Oh, these veggie patties smell amazing. Oh my god, they're so good. Okay, see ya. wanted to make um, crunchy chickpeas and I've bought them before in packets in supermarkets and they're super oily and gross and they're just stale and rancid and it's super annoying and so me and my friend Lusmi were mucking around in the kitchen and she came up with a recipe and it's super cool um, and it's roasted spice chickpeas so I've had I've got a couple of cans of chickpeas here now you're looking for BPA free chickpeas I always use the Eden brand they're a macrobiotic brand and they soak their legumes wisely. They do all the right things. I just love that brand. So if you can get a hold of that brand, it's called Eden's, it's super cool. All I've done is just rinse them and now I'm just gonna pat dry them actually with a tea towel because um, I want as much moisture out as possible. I'm not gonna push on them because I don't want them to um, be squished or anything like that. So I'm just gonna run this towel over them just to get any extra moisture off them. Um, I need a baking tray. I have no idea why I'm using round, I just am. And I need some baking paper. And you wanna put your oven on to really high actually, around about 200. Um, yeah, look, if that's really hot for you and your oven's like a really powerful oven, put it down a bit to like 185, but I'm gonna put mine onto 200. Um, what you wanna remember is don't put the tray of chickpeas on the bottom where the element is, try and put it in the top or the middle. I prefer the top on my particular oven. And my oven is fan forced, which is great because it creates more air, right? And that's what I want. I'm not gonna cut the paper around, I'm just gonna rip it off. What I'm trying to create here is some spice to actually stick on the, the chickpea and you're gonna need to have some oil to do that. I'm gonna use olive oil. I also want some seeds um, in this mix as well. Now I've got some colored black and white sesame seeds and I have just simply and deliciously some smoky paprika. You can totally add to this. You can add some cumin powder, some curry powder, whatever you desire um, would be super, super cool. I've just got salt and pepper and smoky paprika today and the seeds. And I'm gonna need some oil so it's coating the actual chickpeas so it holds that amazing flavor. You only need a little bit of oil with this. Like I said, you don't need a lot. And that's what the beauty of this is, is you get to be in control of how much fat's in this. Because what I've noticed is that when I buy a packet of, you know, spicy roasted crunchy chickpeas in the shop, it's really fatty and it's rancid too. And it's like just eating pure fat. So you get to control that. And I think that's super cool. Gonna use about two tablespoons of really good quality olive oil. Now if you want to change up the fat you go for it. I love the flavour of olive oil. Then I'm going to mix this together with my finger. I'm going to add the seeds in here, a couple of tablespoons. I just want to make sure all the oil is coating the chickpeas. And then mixing this all up and make sure you're coating every 
single possible chickpea that we can. All right. Now I want that. I don't want to lose that flavor. What I would do is I'm going to grab some of these and just make sure that it's coating some of those chickpeas. All right, just gonna evenly distribute them so they're not on top of each other. It's really important, yeah? This is how they get nice and dry. I cannot wait to lick my fingers. <laughs> It's kind of all I'm thinking about. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't let them sit on top of each other because it just won't dry. Mm. That is God's knives and forks. All right, straight into the oven. And what you're going to do is every 30 minutes, you're going to bring them back out and shake them and making sure they're just like, you know, doing their thing. Yum. I haven't really gone far today. I've been kind of like in this area um, most of the morning. And that's the thing about this, with this dish, right? You've, you've got to check on it. Like every 30 minutes, check on it. Shake it. Think about your oven temp. Is it too hot? Turn it down a bit. Mine's a slow oven. Um, God, I wish it was fast, actually, like one of those beautiful French ovens. You know, that's my dream to have one of those. Oh, my God, that would just be just amazing. Also with a fryer in it and a grill. I'm going off topic. Also with a fryer in it and then a flat grill and then a grill and then eight burners. That would just be my dream. Can you imagine that? Oh, my God, it'd be amazing. Um, so I'm just being here every 30 minutes. I'm pulling it out, shaking it, pulling it out, shaking it and just trying to work out. Is it burning? What's happening? Did I need to turn it down? Kind of thanking like the oven gods that my oven is fan forced because it creates a lot more air. And about five minutes ago, I checked it and I said, oh, these are done. The entire time took about an hour. And even though I checked it every 30 minutes, I could check it every 15 if I wanted to. And it's up to you. I'm kind of hanging out. So for me, you know, checking it every 30 minutes was, was fine. This house is smelling amazing. This is a great bar snack too, by the way. It's not just um, something for, for kids or for a salad, which I'm gonna use this for actually. And don't put them in your mouth when they come out of the oven because you'll burn yourself. But they shrink a little because all the moisture comes out of them. I can touch it because, you know, because I'm used to my hands are like asbestos hands. But I'm just gonna let them cool completely. Um, and then we're going to come back to it and have a crunch because I want to hear that crunch, you know, and I want to have that flavour. I made these the other day and I didn't have enough flavour and I thought to myself, oh my God, I could do a curry one, you know, like a really, you know, beautiful curry flavour and then I could do a real spicy, like, you know, super spicy hot, hot one and then I was thinking I could mix the spice and the smoky paprika with some cumin and just play around with it. I could actually put other seeds in there like sunflower seeds and pepitas and sesame seeds to have like a little bit more structure in it instead of just the chickpea being the main thing then I could have like the sunflower seeds and the pepitas you know and just have something a little bit more of substance so this is like the base recipe it's up to you now to play with that all right one of the things I have noticed with this cooling it down completely Cynthia is a must I'm talking to myself here not putting a lid on a container um, when they're still hot because I'll just collapse again and be all moist. When they're cooled down completely, they go into a container with a lid and in the fridge. Do not leave them on the shelf. The fridge keeps them nice and crisp in a really good airtight container. And the container I use is this one. And it's got one of those clip situations on there. So that's kind of my tip, my chickpea tip. <laughs> These are cooled down completely. I know I want to hear that crunch.
Make sure they're cooled down completely before they go in there. Get all those little... Okay, oh my God, so crunchy. Into the fridge. I'm gonna make a salad in another video. Don't know what the name is yet, but I'm gonna make a salad with these in another video.